what I'm going to do now is I'm going to factor um, this stuff here and show you how to cancel this out to reduce it all the way down. All right, so let's uh, let's break. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it this way here. So four can be broken up as two times two, and nine can be broken up as three times three. And we're going to rewrite that 2 there, and this 6 can be broken up as 2 times 3. So these have been uh, factored into a product of primes. Now I can cancel some things out, so it's just a whole lot easier seeing this, right? So these 2's here cancel out. We have a 2 in the top, 2 in the bottom. Those 2's there can cancel out. 2 over 2 is 1, right? And we can cancel out these 3, so we're just left with the 3 now. All right, and the rest of this stuff, let's see. We just have an S, a T. We've got eight T's in the in the denominator. An M to the third, we got one M here. Okay, so this would be S to the fourth times. Now I'm going to cancel this T out, and then we'll just be left with seven of them down here in the denominator. Right, and I'm going to cancel out this M, and then we'll just be left with two of the M's up here. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully you didn't get too confused on that. And that's going to be M squared times N over, we cancel that M out, and we're just left with T to the seventh in the denominator. Now, of course, we're going to write it like this, our final answer. We'll bring that 3 up, s to the 4th times m squared times n over t to the 7th. So that's what all that reduced down to. Don't equal sign because this is still equal to our original expression up here. All right. All right, let's see what we got here for a new problem. We've got uh, 16 x y squared over 12xy squared times 3x squared y over 4y to the sixth. Now, before we even get started here, we know that we have a y squared and a y squared, so this is going to cancel out, and so are our x's here. Um, actually, that should have been an x cubed there. Sorry about that. All right, let's just go ahead and instead of multiplying this stuff together, let's go ahead and see what we can reduce first and then multiply it together. So we've got uh, 16 here. That can be written as 4 times 4 and 12 it can be written as 4 times 3. right? This x is going to cancel. We'll be left with 2 in the denominator and of course those guys will cancel out altogether so we'll just be left with 1 over x squared. All right, times, let's look at this, uh, 3x squared. We have a y, 6 y's, so that y is going to cancel out be left with 4y to the fifth. Alright, so we'll be able to cancel out the fours. Those will stay the same. And you know what? We can also do this. We have a 3 down here, a 3 up here. Wow. A 4 down here, and down, or up here down there. Yep. Well, as you can see here, um, these x squareds will cancel out and we'll be just left with 1 over y to the fifth.